Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing the bench testing of the T-Motor F55 Amp Pro ESC. Now I've done the real world testing. It wasn't as great as I'd hope it would be because of my prop disintegration kind of ruined the whole quadcopter, but it wasn't the fault of the ESC. It was the fault of shady propellers. So today we're going to be doing the bench testing. I know many of you have been waiting for this. This is a 55 amp, obviously as it's stating, 4-in-1 ESC from T-Motor and it is BL Holly 32 that can run up to a 6S LiPo, which is really nice. And if we take a look at the diagram here, I remember something was wrong between the 5 volt and the, uh, the battery voltage from these on the, uh, what is it called? On the instruction manual. So take that into consideration. I think they were inverted. So just be careful, use a multimeter to test it. If you can see that we have TX, which would be for telemetry. Second one would be for current motor one, two, three, four. And then one I think is a five volt. The other one is the battery voltage. And then we have two grounds, but I think I don't remember 100% they were mixed in the instructions or in the old instructions. I don't know if they've updated it. So when, when I built my quadcopter because it was, uh, I was a bit scared when, when I built it and it wasn't booting up, but it was, turns out that these were uh, incorrect. So yeah, that's out of the way. As you can tell, the filtration looks pretty, pretty good. Um, obviously they can't really fit that much onto an ESC here. And it seems like the power circuit or the voltage regulator circuit is kind of modular, as you can tell right there. Uh, it's, it's mounted with one, two, three, four, five. So this can be easy easily removed here and then you're just left with the ESCs. I really don't want to pop this guy open. I think I did pop it open on the previous one, but I really don't want to pop it open. I just want to keep it closed because it's a really nice ESC here. So if you're going to install this into your quadcopter, you have motor one, two, three, four. So the battery leads will come in the back. Also the e motor pads here are separated. I mean, there's a little opening between them, which I really like seeing here. Uh, so you don't have, a, it's less likely for you to bridge something. So I really like seeing that they're very well spaced apart here. And uh, we'll be comparing it next to the T motor F45 amp version as well. Now let's take a look at some of the things it comes with. It does come with uh, four millimeter holes, by the way, to incorporate rubber grommets. As you can tell here, it came. It comes with two low ESR capacitors. I think they're both exactly rated the same here. Uh, what are we getting? 35 volt, 470 microfarad Rubicon low ESR capacitors. Both of them are exactly the same. And uh, they do give you an XT60. And they also give us two connectors here, which is a really nice addition. And the XC60 is using 12 gauge silicone wire. So they're expecting you to use a low e, uh, to use the 6S setup. Now I do recommend a low ESR capacitor if you're gonna be running 6S. Um, I have already tested this because I have three of these. And uh, yeah, enough talking. Let's get testing and we'll take it from there. All right, guys, so the results are in and let's get started. So this is a pretty interesting result and I'll show you why, what I mean in a little bit. So on the top here, we have uh, both of them are exactly the same. This is the throttle noise level test, which means the amount of noise it generates at each throttle level. We have 10%, 25, 50, 75, and 100% throttle. And this is the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. It just does a simulation of aggressive flights to kind of give us a real uh, rundown of how the noise is going to be into the system here. Now, what you want to see is the line as flat as possible, which means it's the best thing ever because you don't, this is voltage fluctuation. However, we will never get a flat line because that's impossible uh, with ESC. So this is, you know, you just want to see it as small as possible. Now let's get started. So I said, this is a really interesting result. And why would I say such thing? First, I want to sh compare it to something that's not really great. Uh, here's the DYS ARIA 4 one ESC. It's, it's unfortunate for this ESC that it was bad, unlike its single ESC brother, but the 4-in-1 was just an absolute nightmare here. This is something you don't want to see. This is this is not good at all. I mean, you need a low ESR capacitor with this ESC. And um, if we take also a look at the throttle noise level test, 
uh, which is this right here. If you compare it to the uh, T-Motor F55 amp here, you see it gets really nasty at 75% throttle. And uh, sometimes, you know, when you get those mid-throttle oscillations, this is due to noisy, most likely sometimes it's due to noisy ESCs. With a DYS Aria, your, your, you know, your probability of getting mid-throttle oscillations due to electrical noise is higher than a T-Motor F55 amp ESC. So this is what also what, what this helps us see uh, when we do the throttle noise level test. Now let's remove this. This is this didn't that ESC didn't test so great. Now the best ESC I've ever tested till this day was the Tico 32 4 in 1 ESC. I mean in terms of 4 in 1 ESCs. And I want to bring that on the scale here so you kind of get an idea of uh, how it was performing against the T motor here, the T motor F55 amp ESC. When I saw this, I was actually quite surprised that we have a new top ESC on our list, which is really nice. So on the left now, we have the Tico 32 4 one ESC, and on the right, we have the T-Motor F55 amp ESC. And as you can tell, they're almost identical. They're almost identical. I mean, here we have a little higher frequency noise, but it's more consistent. Here we have these little weird ones, but this doesn't really affect anything. You know, it's nothing to worry about here. But if we take a look at the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers, this is where this one counts here. And um, one second, actually, I just noticed something else. The amplitude, which is the voltage fluctuation at 75% throttle, is less or is it about the same yeah it's a little bit less than the tico 32 so it's it is it is slightly better than a tico 32 around 75 percent throttle or 50 percent it's very hard to kind of make out here but they're basically almost identical uh in my opinion here now let's take a look at the bottom here this is where this counts uh what we want to see is again the line as close as possible we want to see more red than we want to see uh blue or green or purple so red is where the voltage was at most of the time here and um both of these were, were performing really great you can exactly you can tell what the motor was doing here and you might say well what do you mean well i can tell right here there was no throttle or possibly like 10 percent throttle and all of a sudden it pushed up to 100% throttle because that's voltage sag with well, that line going down that means that's voltage sag and it probably jumped to 50% throttle which it well, jumped right here and then it went back to 10% or 25% throttle and we can actually see it doing that here now in a bad ESC we can't really see that uh, and again I'll bring in which one should I bring the IS 4 in 1 ESC which was really bad and I got a lot of shit for it I don't know why I got so much crap for that ESC yeah like this one Do, can you tell what the hell is going on here I, I don't even know I don't even know what the hell's going on here. But the, you see, you can't really, you don't even know what the hell's going on. And that is also a sign that the ESC is not running very clean because it's just all over the place. Electric, the, the electrical noise all over the freaking place. And this is something you don't want to see again. And uh, you're getting voltage spikes. Check this out. This is 5 volt, 10 volt, around 14 volt voltage spike on the Spedex IS34 and 1 ESC. Voltage drop was pretty darn low also. 3.6 volts it dropped to. Uh, that's, that's just crazy. So when we take a look at these two ESCs, these two are almost identical. They are uh, just the best of the best ESCs that I have tested. I'm sure there are probably others out there. But out of everything I've tested, these two I can vouch for. Um... The T motor, I think, is slowly creeping up now with their ESCs, which is something really nice to see here. Uh, finally, something to compete with the uh, Hollybro Tico 32s, and they also have a T. Uh, not the T motor also just released a 45 amp single ESC, which I also do have, and I'm planning on testing tomorrow morning. Uh, that one's looking pretty interesting, so that, expect that to be upcoming. And also the 45 amp 4 in 1 version of the T motor, I do have that as well, and that'll be tested uh, today also after this video. But yeah, uh, this in, this ESC is really good on bench testing. I've done some real world testing. It was really great, actually. So I would give a thumbs up for this. And again, this will not uh, give you, you know, how long it'll last, what, what issues might come up. But this gives you a, a good idea of how well it might run in the real world because it's running very clean. Thus, everything around it should be running pretty clean because the amount of filtration and the capacitor, is, it's doing really great at suppressing the voltage spikes and also the voltage drops. It's doing slightly better with the voltage drops than the Tico 32. We're talking about like half a volt or so. But um, yeah, they're, they're, yeah this, this is really good. It's really good. So this ESC is good in my opinion and through my testing results. So it's a huge, it just gets a huge thumbs up from me. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, if I help you avoid or purchase product, please use the links down below. Those greatly support the channel. You don't even have to purchase the same thing. And you can also support me on Patreon if you'd like to. That'd be amazing. And I'm going to leave it at that. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.